or calculating torque we need two things number one where is the point of rotation about which an object will move that is in general cases it is center of mass but it may not be center of mass we may rotate anything at any other point taking it as a center the axis may be anywhere we apply force on a body okay we are applying two forces one is force here another is force in this the two forces are equal suppose this point is in between at the center this distance is r this distance is r and this is the pivot the point of rotation now this force and this arm they are trying to pull it down pull it down this way and there will be a rotation this rotation will be anti clockwise this so this is we can say anti clockwise positive this force and this arm if you see this it is also moving anti clockwise so this is also positive so how much is the moment of this force r cross f this is moment of this force how much is moment of this force r cross f how much is the total moment that is 2r cross f what is 2r the distance between forces what type of distance the normal distance distance between forces multiplied by force one force force this gives the effect due to which it will turn and we have given the name to this effect as torque so this is our formula for torque effect which rotates it so distance between the two forces multiplied by force now this distance in this particular case is equal to 2r maybe it is not 2r it may be anything else so again here is a body i apply one force here and one force here the normal distance between the two is equal to d how much is the torque in this case torque is equal to d cross f d multiplied by f that is torque now is the torque having a direction or is it a scalar quantity the answer is torque is having direction it is a vector quantity torque is a vector quantity now suppose this rod this rod is turned like this here is the force f here is the force f equal and opposite anti parallel so this will create a couple of force acting at two different points now i want to calculate the effect turning effect that for turning effect i am supposed to multiply force with the distance between the forces but that distance has to be perpendicular distance so i draw a perpendicular from here so this is ab so with the force what should i multiply ab okay now this force and this distance this makes an angle here this is angle theta what is angle theta this is the distance between them let's call it r position vector for the two points so if this is r this is f vector r and vector f the angle between them is theta so this angle is also theta now if this length has magnitude r and this is the direction this theta is very well explained so theta is angle between force and r now 
if this is theta this is also theta how much is this you all know by trigonometry that this length is equal to r cos theta and this length is equal to r sin theta we need not prove it again okay so you know ab upon r is perpendicular upon hypotenuse that is sin theta so this distance is r sin theta now with the force what we are supposed to multiply ab and this is r sin theta so i will write it r f sin theta or make it straight there is no vector now so this is f r sin theta this is magnitude of torque so magnitude of torque is f r sin theta r is any distance now it is not perpendicular it is any distance which is making angle theta this theta takes care that r sin theta become this so this becomes the formula for torque and this is cross product of r and f so we write it this way to have the correct direction of torque we should always write r first and after that force so we get the direction of torque now what is the direction of torque again this is direction of r this is direction of force now what should be the direction of torque here no this is also no if these two are no then this is x this is y okay in the cross product we find the direction of torque is perpendicular to both of them that is in the z direction very simple so if it is in x direction it is in y direction then torque will be in z direction perpendicular to the plane so direction normal to plane of rotation normal to plane containing r and f normal to plane containing r and f now normal to the plane containing r and f we get two directions this is r this is f so this is the plane containing r and f normal to this is this direction but normal to this is also this direction so what should is the right condition for the torque the answer is we will apply right hand rule that is make this palm in the direction of first vector r then turn this fingers in the direction of f if f is downward we should keep palm like this so that we can turn it downward if f is upward we have to keep it like this so that we can turn it f so now this is r r and this is f so i turn it this way this is f this is r this is f so i curl my hand first r then f and now stretch the thumb this thumb it is going outside and this is direction of the torque so here the direction of the torque is coming out out from board this is direction of torque here so this is how we calculate there are different rules also you know this is r this is f and this is torque so please remember it this way so a cross b in vector this is always a this is always b a cross b this way but if you make it f cross r then first f f then r in this direction r in this direction now you see torque has gone inside so r cross f is this f cross r cross f first we did r cross f this is torque 
if we make f cross r first f cross r no r tor goes inside which is the correct one answer r cross f is the correct one positive r positive f gives the positive torque so please remember the correct orientation or the correct direction of multiplication is first r and then f so that is what we get formula for torque the magnitude we know for cross product the magnitude is f r and sin of theta this so this is torque now what should be the unit of torque newton meter so remember unit of torque newton meter this is the unit of torque we use this unit also only this is in si system so this is how we calculate now we will see two different methods for the calculations of this showing that component of r can be taken and component of f in the direction perpendicular to r can be taken okay so the calculations of the torque see it in the detail